So as you can see, I have my battery pack connected here. Um, the six cells are connected in parallel. And right about now, you can see that those are all um, staggered, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative <clears throat> for easier connecting in series. So we're going to test the voltages out here to see if I get uh, a proper voltage. We should get about 22, 23, 24 volts, somewhere around there. And we know that the pack has basically um, been set up properly and the series connections, which I'm using in my alligator clips here, look okay. And, it, and you can see I have 22.9 volts right now reading from all the six cells. Um, so the battery is a little bit undercharged, but um, we're gonna top that off on a later uh, video. Here you can see I'm connecting all the uh, cells in series using either uh, copper wire, bare copper wire, or in some cases I did use some nickel plating um, sort of sheets to, to connect these batteries in, in series. I was having some problems getting the soldering all done here. Um, I don't have the best solder, nor do I have the best flux. So a lot of times I'm just brute forcing the solder here, but making sure that the connections are are stable in the end and that there won't be any issues uh, going forward. At this point here, you can see that I'm starting to connect the balance leads on each battery. Um, for this, you need to basically get some wire and connect some, well, connect a piece of wire to each of the positive terminals of the battery packs. <clears throat> so in my six cell configuration, I'll need six wires that connect to the positive terminals of each cell. And I'll need one wire um, to connect to the negative pole of the um, cell. So you basically just connect those up, get those soldered on. And these are the wires that are con gonna connect to your battery balancer um, and to get your batteries topped off. Here's sort of the underside shot of me balancing the leads. And here I'm adding the main positive and negative terminal connections using some uh, shrink, shrink tubing to, to sort of seal those so that there's no connection made uh, by mistake or by accident. What I'm using here, the wiring I'm using here is uh, actually stripped out of a 120 volt AC uh, cable. So it should be plenty amount of, uh, should be plenty for the amperage that we need. Um, it, you know, that cable should theoretically support, uh, you know, 20 amps or 15 amps at 120 volts AC. Um, DC will be a little bit hotter, but it should still be okay. And here I go basically duct taping, which was a bad idea in retrospect. I've changed this since then. I've actually put some cardboard on top first and then duct tape that so that the duct tape doesn't pull out any of the solder connections. I can show you that at a later video. At this point here, I'm just, you know, retaping the pack across the bottom or across the sides, trying to get all the balance leads sort of neat, and that's pretty much it.